Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Air Florida Flight 90. Air Florida Flight 90 was a scheduled flight for Hollywood and I think, uh, I don't know where that was, but um, in Florida, it was a scheduled flight for Florida, which was a stopover, I think on its way to probably California. Um, it was a scheduled flight for Florida and maybe California. And crew was getting ready for takeoff, and the f the crew forgot to turn on the defrosters in the engines, which would be a fatal mistake. So the 737 takes off, but the crew is having trouble controlling their Boeing 737, which shakes violently. The 737 later crashes into the 14th Street Bridge in Washington, D.C. on January 13th, 1982, killing four people on the ground, and then crashes into the Potomac River, killing all se killing 74 out of 79 people aboard the 737. Only, f only five people survived the Air Florida crash. That is not the only flight that has gone down because of ice in the engines. In 1991, years later, Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751 slammed into a field because it had ice in its engines. And both of them started surging and then failed. The crew was able to successfully land in a field with no landing gear. It landed in a field injuring a few passengers, and knocking one crew member unconscious. Luckily, all 129 people aboard the Scandinavian Airlines flight survived. Then, years later, well, actually, this was actually a year later, in 1992, um, U.S. Air Flight 405 slammed into Flushing Bay. Surely have to take off because of ice on the wings. It was an F-28 carrying 51 people aboard. 27 out of the 51 people aboard were killed. But luckily, 24 people did survive. Then another 24 people died. Three years earlier, when an Air Ontario F-28 slammed into a forest shortly after it had a failed takeoff. Only 37 people survived. That's going to be all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did... Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and have an amazing day, and be strong. Goodbye.